We're here in the context of a collaborative wild turkey field day today where specialists with Oklahoma State University, um, the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation, and uh, National Wild Turkey Federation uh, have gathered to meet and, and look and tour and, and find out more about various aspects of current rear grand wild turkey research that's been undertaken here on the area. Right now we're, we're down in an area where uh, you know our Superfund money was budgeted this year. One of the projects was on Pack Saddle WMA. And so we got to come down here and kind of see where our money is being spent. And I, I'm blown away by what some of this stuff looks like. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, the things you're gonna uh, see and hear about are uh, life history and ecology of rear grand wild turkeys, uh, how turkeys are trapped for research purposes, uh, a day in the life of a wild turkey, and we're going to see some, some dramatic improvements to a, a large spot of cottonwood gallery timber on the west unit of the Paxado Wildlife Management Area, a large $20,000 project that we're doing this summer to enhance a, a large area of uh, prime cottonwood roosting and loafing habitat. We're going to start with a trap site and kind of talk about how I capture wild turkeys and I also put GPS collars on them to follow their movements. And then we're kind of going to go through a day in the life of wild turkey. 2 a.m. location in the middle of the night, right here. The 8 a.m. location was right here. Starting from the morning all the way up into the roost site and take a look at the different types of vegetation that they're using and why that that might be. So those are some of the basic elements of what you'll see on today's program.